William. Is that and weird? Hold on, isn't that weird that I started it? It is weird. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, you must be in a good mood weirdness. today. Oh, yes. All right. Well, just you forgot a line. It's the Riverstone line. <laughs> yes, it is. Without the Riverstone, because we just left that yesterday and we had a little bit of good downtime, right? A little bit. A little bit. What are we doing now? We're in Indiana. What are we doing in Indiana? What do we always do in Indiana? I guess we're going to work, huh? Yeah. We're going to do some RV transport. <laughs> 30 days of RV transport. Plus, my goal is to make, my goal is to bill $30,000 in 30 days. Is it even possible? I'm sure a lot of people will tell you there's no way, but you know what? Our last run that we did, we made almost $7,000 in eight days. Right. You know, I know I'm gonna need a lot of luck because, you know. And you are a dreamer. So. I am a dreamer, I'm a dreamer, yeah. That's what you fell in love with is the dreamer, right? Sure. Sure, where are we at right now? <laughs> I already told you, we're in Indiana. We're in Indiana, we're what, half hour away from picking up our load? Where's, yep. our, where's our load going, Robin? Oh, your favorite state. Oregon. How much is this How much is this job paying? It's like a pop quiz. Yep. $4,485. Uh, I didn't think you were paying attention. How much per mile? You won't get that one right. Buck ninety-five. Oh, you were listening. <laughs> That's the most we've paid. Usually it's like a buck seventy, buck eighty, buck eighty-five, buck ninety-five. A little bit over twenty-two hundred miles, I think. Is one way. I guess what it is. I'm guessing on that but one. But this one's gonna be different. Yeah. Why is it different, Robin? Because I'm in charge. Robin's in charge. Why is Robin in charge? Because it's my turn. It's her turn. Yeah. Well, because I think I can do a better. She job thinks she can do you. a better job than I did, and we're gonna we're gonna see that that actually happens because. Robin is more, I don't know, I like to say negative. She calls it in, in the now, re, your reality. I'm negative? Your reality. I am. You find the worst, I mean, you already told me about the bad weather before the bad weather hits. Well, that's what weather apps are for. I'm always Mr. Positive. I'm no, a, <laughs> bullshit. You are Mr. I have a thought in my head, so this is the way it's going to go. Like we can't veer from that thought in your head because you have a step-by-step -step process. Because and I, if weather interferes with that, then oh my God, the world's gonna end. Because I've then done. You're gonna just keep going. I've done this run in three days before. Last time it took me five to get there. Why did it take me five to get there? Because Robin? you didn't listen to me when I said, "Hey, there's gonna be shitty weather in Wyoming," but you know, it's the wind. We know Wyoming has wind because we used to be state neighbors with the state of Wyoming, and they always had wind. And you've been in Wyoming your yeah. whole life. And when I say, look, William, it looks like there's going to be wind in every part we need to go through in Wyoming. And you're like, ah, it'll go away. This is why she's in charge. Because yes. when I make a mistake, she doesn't <laughs> shut up. And I hear about it, and I hear about it, and I hear about it. Well, but, you should, because you never get in your head. Okay, well, let's get back to something positive. <laughs> we got 30 days to do this. I have not had a 30-day span where I could go do this before. Correct. And I'm in charge of the direction. Yeah. And you're not going to tell me, oh, no, I think it's better to go this way. This or time. I have the thought in my head, we're going to go this way. Well, we're going to go fine. the way that I tell you that we're going to go. We're going to see if it's a shit show like yours or not. <laughs> time will tell. Time. We'll, we'll see if the women are better at this than the men. But this is my plan is to let her decide. Because we're going into an area right now that gets bad hail, mm -hmm. bad winds, tornadoes we, we were through here last snow. year snow yeah. we spent a lot of time going this way last year and everything we got got wiped out by hail yeah I know. so i know i know that you got to just get lucky you got to have some luck with this and you got to pay attention and you got to listen and you got to listen sometimes especially when your wife says hey it's going to be shitty in wyoming we shouldn't go that way we yeah. should go the other way but yeah. it's faster to go in wyoming i'm a man do we listen? Hell no. <laughs> do we ask for permission? Hell no. We ask for forg We'll do forgiveness after we screw up, right? And you'll hear me for and a week I, or I keep hearing it and I keep hearing it, but I've heard it ever since the last trip to Oregon. So now we're going to try something different. Yes, we but, are. But I'm looking, Bob is in charge. I'm looking forward to this, you know? We, as you can see, the bed is not made back there because we, if we're going to sleep in the truck one night or something, we'll just flip the seats back as far as we can, throw a blanket on us, and that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll stay in hotels. You know? So when I say I want to bill thirty thousand dollars in thirty days, that's not what our profit's going to be, and I don't even know if that's possible. And I guarantee everybody out there will leave something in the comments telling me if I'm completely whacked out of my head. <laughs> it's we'll see. So we're gonna. But I, my goal, you got to have goals in life. Even if you don't make them, you still got to have goals. 
Um, but that's my goal. $30,000 build to wave 30 days. Doing RV transport, hauling campers, fifth wheels, and but, travel trailers. Will our home. marriage survive? Well, our marriage, you know, that's. <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> yeah, that's determined. Uh, like I keep telling people if you come across our channel because of the Riverstone and the RV life, um, if you can make it through RV life, then you gotta go to the next step, and that is this RV transport. And if you can survive that together, then I think I think you got a strong relationship. We're still trying to figure out how strong our relationship is because <laughs> these last couple of years have pushed a lot of buttons. But I still love her to death. You still love me, Robin? Of course. Kind of hesitated, didn't you, folks? <laughs> I, I felt a little hesitation. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to spend 30 days out here. So if you're thinking about getting an RV transport, I mean, we're going to show you what we can made in that 30 days. We're going to show you how much we spend because Robin is very um, expensive. Robin's expensive. expensive. You're expensive. You, you, expensive. You're expensive. You we're calling Motel 6s expensive? Who are you? Uh, I stayed there one time and you made me go to the Motel 8. <laughs> I thought Motel 6 was like 59 bucks. You made me go to Motel 8 for $88. Is it called Motel 8? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. But don't get me wrong, folks. We did go to a Motel 6 in Billings, Montana. She booked me the room. That was the time I went by myself. And I walked up there and the no, guy... No, you booked your own room. Well, maybe I booked the room. No, you did. And then you called me and you're like, yeah, I can't stay well, here. Well, I get to the I get to the counter and the guy's like, all right, check sir, the room out. I'm going to give you the key first and you go check the room out. I go, check the room out? Why would I check the you room out? You booked that. I didn't. Well, he told me, he says, um, because I can't refund your money if you don't like the room. I'm never in my... How many... I don't even know how many hotels we stayed in. Too many to count. He hands me that key and as I'm walking to the room, I'm looking at this key going something's got to be wrong with this because this has never happened before and I'm telling you I'm so glad he did that that room was I, I don't even know how they could charge money for that room yes you booked that I booked it so what did because I do then you're like remember that was a super eight is that what it's called it was a super uh, motel six no the one super eight is what you pick a lot of yeah but anyways I walk back into the counter and I told the guy I said thank you for telling me that no I do not want to stay here I handed the key I got back out and I said call Robin I said can you find me a room you know? Yeah, I did. And she did, because I was busy at that time getting other things ready. But that, if I would have never come across that room, I would have never thought that was even possible. <laughs> so, if, if anything, if you don't learn anything about RV transport, you can watch this video just for hotel reviews, because <laughs> we, we've stayed in a lot, and we stay in a lot, and yeah, we've had we've had our share of uh, bad times, and you know, sleeping on boards and all that stuff. But this next 30 days is gonna push this relationship right to the edge. I think. I'm just hoping for some good weather because I do not want to deal with tornadoes like we did last year and all that stuff. And we're going to see if Robin does a better job at this whole RV transport than I do. Don't get me wrong, I'm the designated driver. Upcoming videos is going to be Robin driving. I'm going to get her behind this wheel and she's going to haul a camper. And I'm going to have her haul one of these other campers because this way it's not ours. This way if it doesn't go well. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> it's never happening. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. No, so leave not. it in the comments that you guys want to see Robin no. haul one of these fifth wheels. <laughs> and the passenger driver. She's the passenger. <laughs> All right. She's, well, you got a pilot and you got your co-pilot, right? You're my co-pilot and uh, you're the navigator. Yeah. Basically, you navigate everything. You navigate all, even navigate me when I'm uh, not doing what you want to. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and if you wonder, folks, I am back on the Mountain Dew. Um, RV transport in this relationship has I brought me back. It's brought me back to drinking. I love you on the Dew. Yeah, I, I tell you, I've just been. We have been. We are such a go, 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 go all the time that I am. I have been wore out lately. I, I look tired on camera. I feel tired, and uh, I'm hoping that after we are done with the RV transport here in the next few months, that you can take me on a, a European vacation or something. Oh, from I all can the take from all yeah, you can take me. Okay. Well, because I need I need some I need to re-energize somewhere and if I'm here this is the problem folks if I'm here I'm either working on the fifth wheel doing a video it's different if we do a video on a vacation or something because it's, I'm still taking the downtime but when we stay here I don't shut down do it no so I need a European vacation you're so, annoying yeah I'm annoying so I'm hope let's just hope we do real good so I can get a European vacation we'll be back you got anything to say Robin I think I've got her surprised with the European vacation because we haven't talked about any vacations and Robin likes to go overseas and we haven't done nothing for a while. So now, watch. 
we'll be done with this video. She'll already be booking the spot. Oh, it'll be booked <laughs> before we're done. <laughs> we'll be back. Here's the Arctic Wolf Cherokee Limited. I think it's a 34 foot, they said. A lot of these doors didn't want to lock, didn't want to latch. Um, the hot water thing didn't want to stay closed. I'm gonna have to watch that because I might have to zip tie that shut because it just, yeah, I don't know. Forest River is usually better than this. I'm kind of, kind of thought this would be a better unit. But we'll see how it hauls. Well, that's what it looks like. And what's crazy is this place is packed. I thought it was packed two months ago. I mean, the few spots that are empty are the guys that just came and picked them up. But over there, they didn't have anything way over there. And now there's just tons of them over there. Crazy, crazy. I mean, it's, it's June. It's June. You, you would think that that all this stuff will be delivered where it needs to go, but I guess not, so. Just remember, if you like what me and Robin are doing on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, but just wait for all the other videos that are gonna come, and let's see if I actually hit my mark. And always,